I think that it's it's unfair um, because it's it's not because it's not like she has this amount of testosterone in her body by choice. I think also if she doesn't agree to decrease her testosterone levels, it's like then would she be allowed to run with the woman or with the men? If she runs with the woman, then she has that added advantage. If she runs with the men, she's disadvantaged because it's not as equal as in the men's. So maybe should be just with choice if she wants to do it or not, but not be forced to her to say decrease it because you have it because yeah. they shouldn't be biased on her because she's different then we should go as far as her hormones. If she has female external genitalia, then she's a female. So I think the, the whole situation is really rubbish. Um, the, the Federation has to make some form of decision. No matter what decision they make, I don't think it really can make everyone happy. Um, they've made their decision and yeah, all parties are just going to have to uh, deal with that and move on. It is fair. It is like a fair thing. That's what I feel personally. Biologically, you know, it's not something she can control, but I think, yeah, yeah it's interesting. I think that she should, they should accept her for who she is, because it's part of her, and she shouldn't have to change anything about her, just for other people. Um, I believe that it's a bit unfair for them to make her reduce her hormone levels, because it's, um, she can't control how much testosterone she produces um, and I believe that there isn't a big enough group for her to compete against so it would be unfair.